welcome to Lethal Hammer's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be kicking off our Obsidian uh, 800D uh, dual loop water cooling uh, video. This will be the first of a couple of videos during this uh, full conversion, um, but just wanted to show you where I was at currently in the build and uh, how we've set this up for a two radiator setup um, to uh, make it work really nicely, quietly, and cool. So as you could see, I have the case completely broken down. I've taken the back panel off the, the back plastic casing that does all the awesome wiring for this case. I've also taken the back plate off in the PSU compartment because we did a mod for the second uh, radiator. Uh, one thing you'll notice is this fan has been moved from the bottom to the top because this is where our second radiator is going to be going right down here. And as you can see, I did a mod where I cut out the actual bottom here. So the radiator, it's a, a Extreme 240, so it's two 120 fans. We'll cover this area. Radiator will actually be mounted to the bottom with some weather stripping. And then we'll put the fans up top. And then I'll have the uh, the one inch piping coming up through, you know, from the radiator through these two holes up to the pump that will most likely be mounted here. Um, I am planning, or I am building this system to support Fermi, so I'm going half inch with a nice big pump with a really solid radiator. Um, currently we will be water cooling our GTX 295, which as you can see we have broken down ready for the water cooler. Um, we also have the E760X58 3-way SLI board broken down. Um, that was a fun one to take apart, it was actually really simple. EVGA itself are, uh, seemed to put a lot of uh, thermal compound on the chipset, which made it really fun to clean up. But uh, I did uh, take apart the GPU um, and the motherboard last night. So when the parts do come in, we can just put the, the cooling on there. We're using an EK water block for the chipset, and then we're using a, um, what is it? I don't even remember the name of the the water block, I'll have to look that up, it's an XT. Um, you can see the cooler master fans that we got, uh, the fan controller and temp sensor, a couple Swift Tech pumps, the 355 and the 665, and a whole bunch of uh, bite, bite power uh, compression fittings. Uh, I chose to do complete compression fittings for this build, uh, only because it looks better, it's aesthetically better looking, um, so we'll see how it looks when it's done. Um, so far we do have the Kazi fan controller installed. Um, I do have a temp sensor hooked up. I have it taped down so when I move around the case uh, it doesn't uh, flop around and whatnot. I had to move the CD drive, uh, CD DVD drive, mainly because when I put the 360 uh, rad in here there's going to be a barb coming down right here and uh, there's issues uh, in these cases with the CD drive being too long and uh, not being able to reach up and get that uh, pipe to the barb, um, well actually compression fitting and whatnot. So I just moved that down so we won't have that problem. Uh, but uh, overall, and we see we have the, the old H50 cooler here that we will no longer be using. Uh, I'm gonna be putting this up uh, for sale somewhere, whether it be Amazon or somewhere. If you guys are interested, let me know in a, in a PM. We'll want to let this go for like 50 bucks. Uh, used for a little bit. Really awesome of seeing a uh, cooler. Uh, I just wanted to go full water and see if I can push it even further. So I will also send it with the Noctua push pull configuration fans. Got the bolts. Pretty much got everything. And then I got the retail box as well that we'll ship with. See the memory over there. Got the 9800 GTX Plus for our physics. Actually, I can walk over here and show you the. This was the, the block off of the motherboard. Pretty beastly, came off pretty easily, but as you can see, there's a lot of thermal compound they put on there. It's ridiculous how much thermal compound they put. Um, but also, you know, the smaller fans, which actually used uh, thermal pads. And then this, this thermal, com or this, uh, heat exchanger was actually sitting underneath this big tower like right there on the board. And you get a closer look at the GTX 295. 
still working on cleaning up uh, the thermal paste off the memory chips. For some reason, the, the pads NVIDIA used uh, left some residue that basic alcohol and whatnot doesn't seem to want to remove. So, got a bunch of wiring and whatnot, but so. But the biggest thing that I've done to the case is definitely the mod of the case where we cut into here. We remove the additional drive base here. I will be uh, putting a metal strap here for support. As you can see, this is a little loose. Um, and mainly with all the components, I don't want it to sag. So I'll put that there and uh, reintroduce some support there. Uh, but that's where we're at, or that's where I'm at, I should say. And uh, waiting for the rest of the parts. They should be arriving tomorrow, uh, mainly for the motherboard. And I think it will be next week. We'll get the rest of the components for the, the GPU loop, the number two loop. So uh, I'll be creating a video for the number one loop when that's installed. So come back and check it out. Thanks for watching.